All right, what is up, guys? As always, welcome back to the Wife of Bell versus Erwan. And um, yeah, same team I did before. Just want to set something out and look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's gonna be tough. We see at least one thing that thing stands out, and that is that he's not necessarily that. Uh, he's not taking or dealing that well with them. Um, with Raichu. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. He has three Pokemon a week to that rising, rising voltage. But besides that, like Volcarona is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm not a big fan of Magnusone, and I don't believe I should actually lead off with Osmo this time. Uh, it deals well with almost everything besides the Volcarona, which clearly has a pretty easy sweep on me if I'm messing up, which don't looks to be that that hard to do versus this. Good synergy. Respecting Irvin already. <laughs> but yeah. Let's see. He must have felt the Volcarona also. See, Parax is his leader and that is, yeah. That is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, this was something I was kind of kind of scared of. Um, bring in Talon Flame directly. Uh, if it decides to Quiver Dance, which is a thing, if I were him, I probably Quiver Dance. I think that's the easiest play in the book. Let's see. Yeah, like I said, easiest play in the book. Good thing we actually decided on this already because this is this is absolutely the play. Yep, switches out and get that. Probably to Magnuson. There we go. This is not gonna be an easy game. I am directly going for that Data Max early on because I wanna pressure him. And uh, this is like the easiest way of doing so. Mainly because this potential Flare Blitz does allow me to break his Magnus Zone, and I think he knows that too. And getting that speed boost will help me a lot, even though it's going to be the most massive resisted hit he's ever taken in his life. <sighs> this is like really scary stuff already. Um, right, Max Flare. See if we can break him asunder. Though I figure he tried to switch around here. Oh, he Dynamax himself. Yeah, right play. Because he will get the analytic boost, which is going to be huge on his side. And I hope to abuse that against him, because I think, or I want this Flare Blitz to at least bring him down to an area where the rising voltage from Raichu could be enough to break him. Oh, he's Max Garden. He is absolutely Max Garden. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right, you say he didn't take this. Like I said, he could very well, he should survive. Did he? Did he? Come on. No, he didn't. He didn't. Oh, God. Right, I guess our both our Dynamax are off to offer directly. And I got one more hit in me. Um question is like in theory what does he sack I guess you'd call it um, so right Stommy makes sense and I'm at plus one speed but that's really all I have and the meter beam is coming my way I'm U-turning clearly try to preserve my priority and here he goes rapid spin is gonna be an absolute mad lad but I think that's the play, actually. Because Meteor Beam is going to be devastating. Alright, let's see. Sending in Prince Churchin. I'm actually going to go for Sucker Punch after this Meteor Beam if I survive it. 
or he can go directly for a Skull or Hydro Pump. He could have Analytics. He has Thunderbolt, which is going to be boosted, but going to be resisted. It's Life Orb, so it isn't the Power Herb variant. That's good. Like I said, Sucker Punch. I think that's the play. Question is whether or not he want to sack this Pokemon. Theoretically, he isn't capable. He is capable of actually just trying to preserve it. I do believe a Rising Voltage could knock him out also, or it, it would knock him out. But I'm just not sure. I take a Hydro. He does the Science Sins. We get the Sucker Punch and get Stommy out of the way. Good, 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 good. Negative part: Volcarona switching. Um. Meanwhile, kind of comes into this too. Uh, what do I do if Meanwhile comes? Cry? Scream? Let's see. Demoretz, that's yes, Meanwhile. And that's a lot of pressure. Um. I mean, sure, we are defensive, but... See, right, we have two turns of electric train. Right, sending in Fina Max. Um, I'm gonna actually U-turn versus this, if I take a hit well, that is. Um, because I think it switches to Volcarona versus this, if anything. Knockoff did plenty. But yeah, he should fear the bullet punch. So I, I want to get that slow priority or... Oh, no, no, he keeps... Okay, okay, okay. Did not expect that. Could that mean he is... Um, I have all the reason in the world to believe he is... Um, Focus Sash or Bandit. More likely, Focus Sash. Yet again, I'm still gonna go for that U-turn. Bring in Volcarona, you coward. I really just want to easily leeway and reset my terrain, but I guess I'm not getting that. I did not expect him to stay in. Like, Bullet Punch seemed to be such a punishing move to go for. He keeps knockoff, he has no shield, this man. He has no shill. <laughs> and that's gonna absolutely kill him. So now I just feel dumb. Because I know as much as anybody else that that bullet punch probably would have killed him. Right, bringing in Arika. Um, just to make sure that Volcrona does not hit the field. Or if it does, I'm gonna Bree Bird it anyway, but... This is just my way of keeping it off. <laughs> as much as I can, that is. Let's see, Toe Kiss makes a ton of sense. And my play here is sending in Hard Pinchurchin. Because if he's Scarf, then it's not gonna matter. And... Um, I kind of feel it could be, or it is a Solar Breaker variant, which is with Taunt, or we have the Nasty Plot Sweeper, which shouldn't be a threat, but definitely annoying. And there's the Air Slash. Yep, I'm not scared of that, but it can't flinch. That's always going to be a thing. Do we force you out? I have Rising Voltage. That will absolutely kill you. Keeps ear slashing. All right. Got the flinch. Hard switch now to Raiden. Because basically, like, I need to keep in church no matter what. But um, I want to see does this ear slash even do anything versus me? It does. I still want an nasty plot. I hope I force it out. I believe this guy is scarfed.
Because hmm. Dazzling Gleam will absolutely ruin me. But I am feeling... I'm feeling scarfed. I keep telling myself these things just to make sure that I didn't do the wrong play. Alright, at least it stays in, so we know that. Please don't go for Dazzling Gleam. Please, 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 please. No, Air Slash in. And I think we got it in the bag. I really do. I really do. Withdraws, Togekiss. Goes to Parax. That's a really dead full Corona, so that's good for us. In theory. <laughs> what Pokemon did he even left? Togekiss. And what? Togekiss. And Corviknight. I'd be dumb risking this, right? Nah, nah, we do this. This should easy kill. He's life or after all. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. But I think Togekiss is faster. And do I have the means to deal with that? Or do I, I, I think I automatically lose to it. So with that in mind, I'm not going to take any risks here. I'm actually sacking Pinchurchin. And um, then we're sitting in Raichu again to finish the job. Because the rest makes no sense. <laughs> so I think he can lock himself in Dazzling Leam and be in a pretty good situation. Let's see, Dazzling Leam, that's alright. Like I said, I feel that is something he could do and that he will be fine because that defeats your Shifu. It's a sign. It actually defeats everything. It's all about whether or not Osma could have kept that away. But yeah, sending in Raiden again and that's going to be a wrap up for this game. This actually turned out quite right. This Raichu is actually, like this set with Raichu, with Rising Voltage, it's it's so good, it's so reliantly annoying to deal with, so if you get this thing right... Oh look! It's a Sashed! No, it isn't Sashed, it just took it! Son of a bitch! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, 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 no! Okay, okay. It's alright, we, we still got this priority. He took that hit? How? Is he a Soul Fist? How did he take that hit? Jeez, uh, okay. I was like, no, telling you the, 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 the war stories about this. But yeah, we got it. Um, now, like I said, I'm very happy that we decided to allow Dynamax because... Without it, I probably would never have won. Him losing Magnuson was probably the biggest perk from my side, because that effectively meant that I could break asunder with Talonflame uh, more easily. So with that said, oh, you know, him playing his Decisor, I mean, his me all the way did versus my sister was also what the hell was going on there. Uh, it clearly worked, but damn. <laughs> So, alright guys, as always, thank you for watching. Ervin, thank you so much for this game. Really well played. And uh, for everybody watching, as always, thank you for doing so. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.